to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet again another ringside exclusive wrestling action figure review. But today, guys, it is not the WWE Elite side. It is the AEW Unrivaled Collection side. And you guys can already see what we have in front of you. And I'll go ahead and get out of the way, guys. This box is massive. This thing is absolutely massive. Like, here's my hand. I'll go ahead and get a regular Elite so you guys can see exactly how it is in comparison. If you guys have ever seen an Elite figure, like, look at this. I mean, it's massive. Like, you guys can see there's like two or three inches still left on the top there. So, this box is absolutely massive. But today, we are looking at the AEW Unrivaled Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack of Jurassic Express from Jazzwares. And this packaging is great. I can't even fit the whole damn thing on screen, so I do apologize for that. But if we pop this open, you guys will see Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus right there in all their glory. Look at how beautiful this packaging is. This is excellent, man. I love this. I, I think this is so cool. I definitely have to grab one for mock and for review so I do have one on the way that will be kept mock but this is the one we'll go ahead and crack open at the bottom there it does say Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus you do get the beautiful white gear that is just just immaculate at the top it does say Jurassic Express up there it does have a little velcro piece right there where you can close it off and then if you spin it around it says AEW on the side on the other side it says AEW again on the back you get this beautiful image of both the talents there so you have Luchasaurus with his signature you also have Jungle Boy with his signature and and then you have Jurassic Express ringside exclusive varnished on there. And then it says AEW. This thing's freaking huge, man. It's so big and I can't wait to tr crack these out. See what, you know, what we got going on with these and see how they compare to their other versions, their Series 5 versions that we just got. I figured they would be right on the tails of each other. But if you guys would like to grab this, you can pre-order it over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Definitely get in on that because you don't want to miss these guys. If you don't want the white versions, I, I suggest the white versions. I mean, I haven't cracked them out and seen what they're about, but I think I would like the white versions over the regular versions, but I don't know. We'll, we'll dive in and see, but if you guys would like to grab them, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But let's go ahead and just release these guys from their jungle and see what the hell they got going on. So taking a look at Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy out of their packaging, guys, really enjoying what we got, man. Honestly, I, I definitely like these better than the first versions. Uh, you know, the other versions kind of give you like a standard look, like a traditional look for the guys. But as far as the gear is concerned, man, you guys already know that I love white and white gears and, and all these things. And it's just like, I, I don't know, it just makes it look very fresh and it's very clean. And this looks super duper dope. So Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy right here in the white gear. We are going to get into the details. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and take a look at their accessories. Now, just like their standard Series 5 figures, they don't come with a lot of stuff. You get the interchangeable hands, like the reaching out hands. If you guys would like more detail on these, go watch my Series 5 review of both of these guys. But you get the reaching out hands for Luchasaurus and then you get the reaching out hands for Jungle Boy. Nothing too immaculate. You also get their standard mic holding hands. But outside of that, you don't really get any accessories whatsoever. So I'm just going to dive in and we're going to zoom in here and take a look at either talent right quick up in personal, up in the face hole there. And I guess we can start off with Jungle Boy. Now starting off with Jungle Boy, this is a different head sculpt than we got with his first figure. And I like both. We are going to do a comparison shot in the next version of the video or the next segment of the video. But the pissed off expression of the ground expression works really well. I think the formula that they use for this guy is insane as well. Like, look at that curly hair and the, like, the dry brushing over it looks really nice. I don't know. The Jungle Boy figure is super underrated, man. Like, if you own it, you know how good it is, but I love the, like, the slim torso they give him. Looks very natural. Looks just like him. He does have his brown, like, Tarzan-esque wrist gauntlets on there. He does have his white gear. Now, for some reason, when we knew that we were getting this two-pack or when I knew that we were getting ringside exclusives, like, I, I've seen Luchasaurus's white gear before, but I had never seen Jungle Boy's white gear. So seeing it here and I guess I just completely forgot about it but you get the gold trim. You also get like that like scaly looking pattern there and the silver and then you have the other gold there. Not like crazy trunks but you know they're just standard wrestling trunks. You got the skinny thighs there. The McDavid hex pad knee pads that Jungle Boy likes to wear and then you have his standard boots. They do look to be the same knee pads, the same boots and the same gauntlets. The only thing that's different is the head sculpt and then the trunks color for the Jungle Boy but I like it a lot. I think it's really daggum good. I, I, I like I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it feels really good in the hand, and I can I can always appreciate a good Jungle Boy figure. So there's the Jungle Boy, but let's get into Luchasaurus right here, and then we will also, again, we are going to compare their head sculpts. We're going to compare their gear and all that stuff, but starting out at the top of the head sculpt, guys, it is the same mask that we saw with the Series 5 figure, I'm pretty sure, like the colors and everything like that. The expression does not have the tongue out, so that can give you a little bit different option. You can switch the heads if you would like, and that'll be a really cool deal. Going down into the torso, same torso and tattoos and everything that we got with the Series 5 figure. Looks
looks really good. Again, I like the biceps. I like the, you know, the details on the gauntlets. The waist wrap is a little bit different. You know, it's got the white details with the gold and everything. You got his logos. Little waist wrap looks really good with the white lines. You got the green and black scales with the white tights going on. Another thing that sucks about this figure, though, is he still doesn't have boot rotation. Now, I didn't expect him to have boot rotation or anything because, you know, his, his Series 5 figure didn't, and I don't think we'll get boot rotation until a later date. You know, when they improve the figure, they get in there and they tool it a little bit differently. Hopefully, they do that. Like, I'm pleading that they do that, man. We really need to have our, uh, we gotta have kick pad rotation. Like, that is just something that I will hammer home all day. Now, one thing that does suck, too, is that his knee pads kind of prevent you from getting that, that knee bend. I said I was gonna cut these off. Still thinking about doing that, but the white color looks super fresh. It looks really, really clean, and it just really brings it out. I definitely like this gear better than the black gear, and hopefully his next figure will actually have kick pad rotation. Then you can just switch the lower legs from this figure and that figure, and then your older Luchasauruses can also have the kick pad rotation, but here is the two figures right there, and if you guys wanted to see what they looked like up next to the standard versions or the Series 5 versions, here is this version of Luchasaurus, and then you have this version of Jungle Boy. Now, again, if you're looking for your, your straight-up, regular-looking versions, this is great for, like, the beginning of AEW, and then this is better for, you know, like, a little variant, and if you guys wanted to see, you know, what this guy looks like with, uh, you know, with the head swap, this head is kind of difficult to pop off because of his long hair. God, that's scary pulling that off, but I did get it off, all right? So there's the one head, and then if you wanted to switch it, so popping off the grimacing head sculpt or the pissed off head sculpt and then plopping that on there. So that's pretty cool. So that's always great about the AEW figures is you can do an easy head swap and, you know, make guys look better and, you know, change their appearance and stuff like that. So that that is just nuts, man. They need to do, like I've said before in the past, they need to do ringside exclusive expression packs where you can, you know, switch out head sculpts and give guys different expressions. Like, release a four-pack of Kenny Omega and have a pissed off, a yelling, a smiling, a goofy, and then you can, like, do different looks. So here is the tongue out expression on the white gear, and then you can also do, like, the growling head sculpt onto the regular version. So that's just so cool, man. That is awesome. So excited to have two versions of Luchasaurus, not counting my Mattel Elite and all that. So I'll definitely track down more. I want to do some, like, fantasy gear with this guy, you know, maybe do a variant mask or something, you know, like, paint up his gear and do, like, different stuff. As soon as we get more Series 4s and Series 5s hitting stores and stuff, I know it'll be a while till we get Series 5 in stores, but I do want to, like, paint up some different Luchasauruses, give them some different gears and looks and stuff like that, so that will be something that we can do, but overall thoughts, man, these are great. I really enjoy these. I cannot say enough about them, and I highly suggest you go uh, pre-order these and get your order in because I feel like this is one of those packs that once it's gone, it's going to be difficult to track down, and hopefully, uh, you know, they're not going to stores. They're definitely not going to go to stores because it's a ringside exclusive, so you don't want to miss out on this, man. Definitely go put in your order. If you'd like to grab these from ringside, guys, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but another thing I'd like to add is like, Marco Stunt should be coming soon, right? Like, we gotta get Marco Stunt in here. I know they're gonna make a figure of him relatively soon, but if you guys would like to order this, go to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS. Before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into a random shout-out. And for the random shout-out, it's gonna go to Elling Reeves, who says, your background is legendary at this point, bro. It's literally perfect. And then a bunch of other people said, said the same thing. I feel like the background you have right now is perfect. Don't change the background. So, I guess I'm not changing the background. I'm glad that you guys enjoy it and that it hasn't become stale or something like that, so I really appreciate you guys. You guys are absolutely beast. I really appreciate you. If you guys missed out on yesterday's NWO Cena, definitely go check it out. I know it's not the most exciting figure, but I know, like, when figures aren't that exciting, I tend to turn up, like, the review, if that makes sense. So if you guys don't like a certain figure or you don't want to watch a certain review of a certain figure, do it anyway because I promise you, I try to keep the video entertaining and throw some other stuff in there so that you guys are hooked to it and you want to watch the thing all the way through. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout out to Elling Reed for that comment, man. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the kick pad rotation. Hmm. Haven't gotten over that just yet. Gonna take me a minute. Gonna definitely take me a minute. So, kick pad rotation for Luchasaurus. You cross the line, I've been